some standing. Flag no fail. Hold strong, people. Hold strong. Revolutionary. Frontline standing. Solitary. Mind state. Kind of scary. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath and put me on the front line. Put me on the front line. Put me on the front line. Chicos, ¿qué tal? Como os dije en el canal de YouTube, había prometido haceros una entrevista a Dimitri Kuznetsov, que mucha gente, muchísima, muchísima, muchísima gente de España quiere saber eh, cómo entrena, eh, cómo ha hecho para conseguir esa fuerza que no mucha gente tiene y tiene muchísimos seguidores en España. Y ha habido muchas preguntas que, que ha habido que nadie ha sabido contestar, entonces yo quería empezar haciendo una pequeña, una pequeña entrevista sobre detalles básicos, no voy a preguntar cosas muy largas but I think it will be quite good. So the first question for Dimitri um, is when he started and why he started. Uh, I started eight years ago. I started eight years ago. Because his brother started to train and wanted to train with him. Ajá. Él empezó ocho años, o sea, ya lleva bastante tiempo, ocho años, y empezó porque su hermano eh, entrenaba y entonces le ayudó. Uh, and that, that way, eight years ago, they were doing only basic moves, only pull-ups, dips. Sí, solo básico. Entonces, por ese momento ya solo hacían ejercicios básicos, lo que venían a ser dominadas, flexiones, etc. So, if he can name one guy inspiring him, she woke up and why he got into she woke up because you know she woke up and uh, basics are different so what is the first thing make him do she woke up you know what is the first thing uh, not doing basic exercise but doing something uh, like a planche like no что тебя заставило начать делать не только базу а какие-то еще более сложные упражнения ну со временем стало или какой-то может из ребят Нет, вдохновителей у меня не было, но со временем просто надоело делать только базу. Захотелось перейти на элементы, увидел э, чуваков с брейкданса, увидел, что они делают, решил повторять статику. Because uh, it became boring to him to do it for the basic. And he was, uh, he saw breakdancers and he wanted to try something new, something new. Lo que realmente le había pasado es que se había cansado de, de los básicos, por así decirlo, y quería probar algo nuevo. Y había visto los break dancers que suelen hacer los power moves, que son elementos que, que tienen bastante fuerza, y dijo: Voy a probar algo nuevo. So, uh, a lot of people know Dimitri because of his plants, actually. They uh, speak about Dimitri's plant, Dimitri's plant, Dimitri's plant. How much time have you been training plants, and how much time got you to get the plants? Ну, он говорит, что все знают такой план, что очень популярный, вот, и он спросил, сколько времени у тебя заняло, чтобы с такого уровня, как долго тренировался. Сам горизонт я учил три месяца, да, ну не больше. Три месяца? Три месяца. Он сказал, что он пытался делать только три месяца. Вау. Вау. Так, ребята, три месяца, чтобы достичь этой планы. Три месяца. How, how long ago? Uh, two years, four, four years, how, how, how long ago? Uh, how did you start training? Four years ago. So, if he can describe shortly the exercises helping him doing uh, the, the plants, what he did at first, because a lot of people don't know how to start plants. They show a lot of tutorials, but they don't know how. He asks, what exercises you can do? Вот ребята начать, которые хотят научиться делать плащ. Давай я лучше покажу. He want to show. He want to show. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's perfect. 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 One. First. <laughs> Two. Three.
four. Doing five. <laughs> crazy, crazy. Yeah. So, it's super fascinante, ¿no? La facilidad que tiene y nos ha nombrado cinco ejercicios que sirven para hacer la plancha. And uh, I know like the exercises are like uh, uh, really good tips for someone starting, but I wanna get like a little bit inside and how is his training schedule? Because I've seen a video of him going in the morning to the gym and then he goes to do some uh, elements in our gym. So I want to ask him how he trains. Uh, maybe he, he, he do like basics so, uh, Monday and uh, on Thursday he do plants. Oh, how much time is a week he do plants? Абсолютно свободно. Все по желанию. Друзья позвали. Время есть, пошел. No tiene un entrenamiento fijo porque es algo que me sorprende. Todo el mundo piensa que tiene un entrenamiento estricto, pero no. Él simplemente entrena libremente cuando le llaman a sus amigos. Da igual el tiempo, da igual el momento, simplemente él se va a entrenar. So, another question, because we've seen the meters strong, we've seen the biceps. Show, show them, show them. So, do, do you have, if, is he doing diet or something like this? Is he eating well or he eat anything? Come de todo, no tiene ni dieta ni nada. And another question, a lot of people, really, they're talking about this. And maybe it's something he bought, it's bothered him or something like that. But a lot of people ask, Dimitris on steroids or not? What? Dimitris on steroids or not? Yes. Ни разу в жизни. Never tried. And you take protein shakes or something like this? Nothing. No protein, no pre-workout, creatine, nothing. No. That's. No toma nada. Le había preguntado si alguna vez había tomado esteroides. Dice que nunca. Tampoco toma proteínas. Tampoco toma creatinas. Tampoco toma pre-entreno. So he eats like anything, and he even don't. So. It's difficult to understand how he got so much power, yeah. yeah. Because how much days you turn a week? He say, uh, I trade freely, I eat freely. Do you think it's something secret that got you what you are right now? Secret, какой ты? Ну потому что ты у тебя нету этого генетики, так мой отец занимался этим, ну и упорство в каждом моменте. Dice que él, eh, su secreto no hay ningún secreto, simplemente cree que su genética, porque su padre ha entrenado mucho y que él simplemente trabaja duro. cosa, do he rest properly? You know, sleeping and that stuff. He you know, works eight hours, or maybe he rest uh, a little bit, or he he goes to job and he sleep only for five hours. We, we don't know. Absolutely. <laughs> That he doesn't work and sometimes he sleeps three hours, sometimes twelve, sometimes he doesn't sleep. So random. Yeah. Random, yeah? Yes. So, well, básicamente lo que habéis entendido es que duerme. Eh, le había preguntado que si descansa correctamente y ya le ha dicho que descansa lo, cuando, o sea, random. Un día puede descansar cinco horas, un día puede descansar cuatro horas. O sea, que depende del momento. And uh, I wanna uh, you give like some. Uh, some advice for people starting into street walker. You know, a lot of people start into street walker so you see your videos and they want to know how to start something motivating them. How, how do, do you start? And uh, some advice for them. Do basics, do this, do this, you know? Because a lot of people, they want to start 
uh, training and they show, show you plants and they start like the, <laughs> this one, the one. You know, you understand me like elbow plant and this, and they want to get the plants as quick as possible to be you. So a little advice for them. В любом случае всегда начинать с базы надо, так подкачать какие-то определенные группы мышц, потом уже ну, добить до среднего результата и можно приходить к подводящим. И делать не просто подводящие друг за другом, а делать сеты из них. Чисто до убийства, до конца. Делать с этой зачем? Ah, Lo que me ha dicho básicamente, le he preguntado, oye, una persona que quiere empezar dentro del street workout, ¿qué consejo le darías? Porque hay un montón de personas que quieren empezar dentro del street workout y que simplemente lo intentan, dicen, voy a ser Dimitri y se tiran al suelo y en realidad no les sale bien. Y me dijo que él hace, que la, el primer consejo sería que hiciesen muchas series y cuando ya tengan un nivel alto de series, luego después ya prueben cosas y que después cuando ya tengan esas cosas, después vayan bestia y trabajen duro. Uh, I know Dimitri has been on injury. You've been on injury like this month. How is your situation actually? You've been recovering or you good now? Or are you still in the injury? Ну, потянул связку плечевую. Нельзя тренинг, по идее, полгода, но я по чуть-чуть все равно тренинг не бросаю. Mm -hmm. his... Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, doctor said to him that he can train three months, but he trained a little bit. So, eh, le, le he preguntado porque yo sabía que él había tenido una lesión en el hombro y se había recuperado y le ha dicho al doctor que va a estar tres meses sin entrenar, pero que él entrena hace una pequeña rehabilitación, por así decirlo. So, last question, and uh, no, no question really. Uh, I want to say something to Spain. You, la, you have a lot of followers in Spain. You don't realize how much. So, really, say something to them. And, uh, so, they, they remember you there. Он попросил что-нибудь сказать ему для твоих фанатов в Испании, потому что ты говоришь, что их там очень много, и тебя там очень любят. И вот что-нибудь им просто передать. Я у меня рекординг. Что ты хочешь для Крисмаса? Я подумаю сейчас, прям пару секунд. Потому что ты можешь спросить много о стрит-воркау, плантах, каждый день. Same, 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 same. I want to know about you. What do you want for Christmas? No. Some serious question right there. I've been doing an interview. Or this one, the serious. When you want iPhone for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. 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 Thank you я думаю, через месяца два, как только прям, ну, хотя бы чуть-чуть будет уже болеть, не так как сейчас, то я сразу вернусь. Ага, это то, что я хочу сказать. Потому что он вернется в испанский, он вернется в испанский, он вернется в испанский, может быть, в испанский, 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 Uh, iPhone 6s. 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 7 if possible. Yeah. In gold. <laughs> In gold. <laughs> so, uh, muchas gracias. Uh, much thanks, Dimitri, for the interview. Um, uh, what can I say to him? Your boss and a uh, lot of power for you, recovery, and thanks for, for giving us this opportunity. Спасибо большое, ты крутой. Спасибо. Спасибо. Hasta la vista. Uh, we're going to do an interview with her also. <laughs>